Hoko is hopeful that the zero tariff increase, along with the debt recovery strategy, will relieve and offer residents benefits to clear their outstanding bills. The municipality has this year approved an estimated budget of $131 million. I table this budget knowing that the current economic situation in our country, exacerbated by the global COVID-19 pandemic, continue to affect all fears of life directly and indirectly. We had a anticipated a downfall of spiral in consumer behavior as a result of the effect of this pandemic. This has amplified the pressure on Ochiwarongo municipality to continue providing the essential consumer services while balancing the need for business continuity at the operational level. A budget of $500,000 has been set aside for the construction of ablution facilities at the town's designated bus and taxi rank, while $1.9 million is earmarked for the council's traffic equipment and website design. Sewage, sanitation and water provision are allocated $1.5 million. The construction of the emergency response unit, $5 million, and $3.5 million will go towards the expansion of the open market, which once completed, accommodate 1,500 vendors. As usual, with such budget dis discussions, difficult decisions had to be made. As council, we have, we have mandated to bring meaningful change to our towns, and regions, thereby contributing in assisting the government with implementing services across the board. Council has prioritized key developmental projects such as urban planning and town, ex, township establishment, provision of service infrastructure, maintenance of gravel roads, and acquisition of machinery and equipment during the next financial year, ending June 2022. The municipality has also made a budget provision of $8 million, earmarked for the three new planned extensions with 977 Irvings. Faith Sankwasam, NBC News, Oshiwarongo.